Hey everybody, Brian from PMB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the vacant large tent because there's nothing in it now except for the lower level. And so let me show you what's going on. As you saw from the other videos that are getting posted, everything that was inside has moved outside from this tent on the upper level. All the squash, because they just got, they were just getting so big. I mean, you know, there's squash that were, you know, six inches long on some of them. And I just figured, you know, I'm going to get those outside, get them acclimated to the outdoors because we're having nice, really hot weather. And that simulates basically what we've been having in the indoors. As you know, inside this tent, it's usually in the 80s. And uh, right now it's 80 some degrees outside. And it's supposed to be in the upper low 80s to mid 80s, I think for many days of this next week. So I wanted to get them out there, get them uh, acclimated to the temperatures outdoors before I plant them next weekend. So down here, we still got the eggplants. I didn't want to take these out because these are my little pride and joys. And I want to make sure that they're ready to go out when I put them out. And I don't want to have anything happen to where it's like when I'm at work. And, see, I'm not going to, if I'm not around and the automatic watering outside doesn't go off for some reason, then uh, I don't want these guys getting sacrificed for something. So I make sure to keep them watered, just watered them before I started the video. And, uh, you know, they're looking really healthy. Even the small ones, like this little one here, that used to be one of the smaller ones. I mean, it's the same size as a lot of these. So I think right now, they're pretty much at the peak of what they can grow inside here with the amount of light that comes off because I haven't noticed that these have gotten any taller in the last you know week or so. The only one is back there, but uh, the rest of these are all pretty maintaining, you know, about that same height, which is about, you know, a foot and a half. So maybe it's a limitation of their, maybe they're starting to get put down, but I don't know. But I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I'm gonna do another foliar feeding this week before they, uh, I'll try to do another one before I put them out. So I might do that tomorrow night when I come down here and check on them. But the, uh, the area up here, what this is gonna become, all this area here is gonna become all annuals. And I'm gonna do, uh, I've got a couple of different types of sunflowers. So I'm gonna take the, uh, those same five inch pots that I've got down there. I've got a couple hundred of those that I've collected over the years. And then I'm gonna use those and I'm gonna seed a bunch of uh, sunflowers inside there. So I've got this type here. I've got some of this Autumn Beauty that I got from uh, American Meadows. And I also have some different ones that I got from High Mowing Seed last year. And then I'll seed those and put them into five inch little blocks. And then I'll start scattering those once they're, you know, six inches, something like that. I'll probably put those outside, scattered all around the yard and in the garden boxes. So we'll have a bunch of different uh, beautiful things out there. Just don't put them by your beans. Remember, you don't put sunflowers by your beans because they uh, they are not companion planting. It's something about the uh, what the you know what the I don't know if it's the beans that affect the sunflower or if it's the sunflower that affects the beans. I think it's the sunflower that affects the beans. But uh, that's what I've read is that's one of those ones you just don't plant by each other. But they'll go good next to my tomatoes and uh, the eggplants. So I'll put those in there and we'll have a, a happy sunny yard. Because <laughs> Paula loves sunflowers. That's one thing that she has always had. She's always got these little pictures and little sunflower plates that she buys. That's, that's something that Paula collects is little sunflower items. And she always wants me to grow a bunch of sunflowers. And last year I had a few, but this year I really wanted to have the yard pop for her with the sunflowers. All right, well, this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right, bye.